Because of my adventures, I'm an expert on all the cafes all over Kalos. Um, Professor? Come on now, Dexio. I'm going somewhere with this. Yeah, don't underestimate fucking Professor Sycamore. Jesus Christ, Dixio. Yeah, I just called you Dixio. Bitch. <laughs> you and I look good tonight. If you're looking for some company, let me know and smile. King Corfish here and welcome on back to episode 28 of our Pokemon X Wonderlock. If you're excited for today's episode, just let me know. Just let me know in the comments. Just leave a comment and be like, hey, Ryan, I'm excited for today's episode. It would let me know that you guys are enjoying this series because I'm having a good time with this series. So I just really want you guys to also be enjoying this project. So anyways, if you missed the last episode, it went up on the channel yesterday. In case you're not aware of what the schedule is for this series, I'm really not aware of what it is either. It's literally just going to be, I'm going to post this as often as possible because we're getting closer and closer to the end of the game. I really want to just finish this series up i'm having a blast with it and i really want to just keep going you know what i'm saying so uh yeah no just general announcement for you guys this project is going to be going up pretty frequently so definitely make sure that you stick with it and uh yeah just keep checking it out all right gotta stay on top of the ball because we're gonna be pumping out a lot of these x episodes but if you did miss the last episode it went up on the channel yesterday we checked out the pokeball factory we fought team flare we fought some admins in team flare and we saved the pokeball factory or something like that i don't know the story in this game is no joke all over the place i'm not entirely sure really what the point of anything is but it's all good <laughs> if you're hyped though leave a comment just just interact with the video like button dislike button do whatever the hell you want to do it, i would just appreciate it i would just appreciate it a lot so with all that being said if you did watch the last episode let's start off this episode right here with a nice and quick team recap so here is what the squad is looking like we got to make sure that i'm caught up to speed on how things are looking like you're caught up to speed on how things are looking like and everybody's on the same page with everything so first things first i'm the real We've got Crobat right here rocking out of level 51, which is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> level 51 with the poison and flying typing, the inner focus ability with the moveset of acrobatics, confuse ray, fly, and poison fang. Next up, we have A Choppers, the Gabite rocking out of level 45 with the dragon and ground typing, the rough skin ability, and the moveset of dual chop, dig, slash, and dragon claw. Next up, we have Gyarados rocking out of level 41 with the water and and flying typing, the intimidate ability, and the moveset of Dragon Rage, Surf, Ice Fang, and Hydro Pump. Next up, we have Toxicroak here, rocking out of level 47 with the poison and fighting typing, dry skin ability, and the moveset of Revenge, Mud Bomb, Poison Jab, and Faint Attack. And next up, we have Dustox, the starter that you guys did not choose because this is a Wonderlock, of course. Rocking out of level 44 with the Bug and Poison typing, the Shield Dust ability, and the moveset of Moonlight, Bug Buzz, Toxic, and Psybeam. And last but not least, we've got Furfru, the low key MVP of the squad, rocking out at level 46 with the normal typing, fur coat ability, and the moveset of return, retaliate, sucker punch, and bite. So there you go. That's what the squad's looking like. That is what we're rocking out with. So because in the last episode we took on the Pokeball Factory, now we're going to head on over to the east. And I believe that we have a new route that we can go check out. And there's going to be some stuff happening over here. At the end of the last episode, we actually received a Holocaster thingy that said that there was an attack on the pokeball factory there were actually newscasts about the fucking pokeball factory bullshit they didn't say us they didn't mention us in the slightest and this guy just popped out at me motherfucker he said don't sneak up on me like that what the hell you're you're scaring me what the actual fuck pokemon ranger dean jesus christ although that actually does kind of remind me of something uh fun facts for you guys my cousin's name is dean so shout out to him i don't know if he's watching this video or not he actually does follow the channel pretty well um so shout out to dean all right me and him have been insanely close ever since i was like three because i'm about three years older than him uh about two and a half i think two and a half three years somewhere in that range uh older than him uh every single family gathering that we ever had growing up whether it was like christmas thanksgiving etc etc i would always and i mean always spend it hanging out with him uh we would play video games together things like mario party things like uh smash bros holy shit we play a lot of smash bros let me tell you what we played a lot of smash bros going up let me tell you what we did this thing called the character tournament 
where every single uh, time we'd get together at any family gathering or something, I'd bring my Wii U, uh, or now we actually do the Switch, but um, <laughs> uh, I'd bring my Wii U, and we have to play against every single character in Super Smash Bros. in order, and we're not allowed to lose a single match. They always have to be at level 9. It's just really fun. It's just really fun to actually just play Smash Bros, uh, hang out with him. He's a really, really, really cool guy, so uh, shout out to Dean. All right, really cool, really cool guy, and I appreciate that he still, like, sticks around with the content, and he supports me like crazy and everything. Crobat is learning Air Slash. That might actually be better than Acrobatics, not even gonna lie. Uh, 75 and 95, and you are 55, 100. So I'm gonna go with, yes, that is better than Acrobatics. Like, sure, Acrobatics is more powerful if we don't have a held item, but Air Slash has more power just in general, and also it has a chance to flinch, which I really like that. So there we go, Crobat has Air Slash now, which is absolutely lit. Let's just test it out. Let's just send out Crobat, and let's just test it out just for the fun of it, all right? So I kinda, now that I'm kinda talking about, like, sentimental, like, growing up stories about playing video games, I kinda wanna make that the question of the day on the layout, all right? If you have any fun stories growing up playing any video games, let me know. I'm really, really, really curious. What are some of your favorite childhood games? That'll be a really interesting thing to talk about as well in this episode. So please, yo, the very first time, the very first time that we use Air Slash, we get the flinch. Let's go. We got hit by the Future Sight, which was actually really, really, really damaging because <laughs> it was super effective and Future Sight's a pretty powerful move. But it's all good because we live in, we live in, if it was a crit, that would have been really bad. If that was a crit, we actually could have had the first death in this Nuzlocke. Can you believe that we're at episode 20? 28 of this series with zero death. You can't lie. That's a little bit ridiculous. You cannot lie. That is a little bit ridiculous. All right. So since we just had a lot of damage being taken on Crobat, let's go ahead. Let's use some super potions and let's heal Crobat back on up to full. because He's looking a little bit tagged up. There we go. Rocking out at full health now. And honestly, we've used a lot of Crobat in the past few episodes. So let's go ahead and let's give Gabite a little bit time to shine. Because Gabite's going to be the next Pokemon on our team that's going to evolve. And it would be really cool if we actually get a Garchomp in the future. Fuck this guy! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So anyways, some other childhood Pokemon games that I played. Well, not necessarily Pokemon. Growing up, I played every Pokemon game. Uh, but some other... How coincidental! I put Gabite up in front, and then you send out your very own Gabite, but is yours Chompers? Eee! No, it's not. Yours is level 41. Yours is a bitch compared to mine. Alright, we're gonna be going for Dragon Claw, because I'm gonna outspeed. It's stab and super effective, and just one shot. Let's go. Let's go! Woo! Anyways, okay. Some childhood video games that I used to play a lot. Uh, the best ones that come to mind are Tales of Symphonia, which I talked about a lot in the last episode. Uh, so, I don't know. I never actually got a chance to check out the comments on the last episode yet at the time of recording this one. So, I don't know how many of you guys actually uh, were familiar with Tales of Symphonia or not. But that was a game that I played the shit out of growing up as a kid. Uh, some other really fun ones was Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Um... Uh, NHL Hits 2002, which I know what you're probably thinking. Ryan, you played an NHL video game? What the hell? Look, the game was lit. The game was lit. Let me tell you right now, because you could, like, body check other characters and stuff. Uh, if you got three points with one character, your character would get struck by lightning, catch on fire, and then your stats would be increased by a shit ton to be a lot faster. Uh, your shots would be a lot more powerful. You could do tricks. You could do one-timers. You could do things that were absolutely ridiculous in this game you could fight other characters all right you could fight other characters tell me that's not dope as hell just nhl hits was a really 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 fun game and i would absolutely love to stream it on the channel at some point i would love to stream it on the channel at some point like for throwback thursdays which i really really want to bring back throwback thursdays it's just that it seems like every single thursday that i try to stream throwback thursdays something comes up and i don't get a chance to do it in case you guys don't know what throwback thursdays was it was a stream series that i started on my channel back in september uh while i was at college and the point of the stream series was to just basically every thursday i would pick a different game from my childhood and we would just stream it and hang out and play it uh, I could talk about stories with that particular game growing up, playing with my older brother, playing with family, whatever, whatever may it be. Uh, and it was just a really, really fun series because it was really just nostalgic for me, all right? Uh, so I think I want to bring that back. It's just a matter of I got to get less busy, all right? Every single day, I swear, I have so much content. I have so much stuff to do, uh, whether it's uh, videos, editing, recording, streaming, animating, commissions. Today alone... 
Today alone, and I don't mind talking about this at all because, I mean, this is all going to go up today, so it's not necessarily spoilers. Today alone, I got to record, edit, upload X, which I'm recording it right now, so look at me go. I'm being productive while talking about being productive. Uh, I also have to record, edit, upload FNAF. I also need to do a commission for Vinny. He wanted that in his hands today, uh, so I got to get that done as well. And I also would love to stream something as well. So today is definitely a very, very, very busy day. Let me know. What are you guys doing today? All right. Do you have any plans for the day? Let me know down in the comments. What do you guys have to do today? Let me make sure to type out the question of the day, by the way. There we go. I mean, I am going to be editing this episode as soon as I'm done recording it. Um, but but at least I just got, I knocked out the uh, question of the day right there. So that way, when I go back and I edit this episode, I can go and refer to my notes and see what the question of the day is supposed to be. So see what the intro moment is supposed to be. See what the thumbnail is going to be, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yo, we're getting a holoclip. clip. Yo, bet. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's fucking Dorito, man. Oh, my God. According to Professor Sycamore's research, Mega Evolution releases all of a Pokemon's energy at once. The Pokemon then exhibits a level of power. Power it could not obtain through ordinary evolution. What meaning can we draw from this? Do all people in Pokemon have such potential? Or is it hidden within chosen few? Why? Why did you have to call me and tell me that specifically? Why? Why? Oh, Jesus Christ. Lysander is just so weird. Try to tell me right now Lysander does not look like a fucking Dorito. Try to tell me his hair and everything is not just... Dorito is fuck. And we made it to Dendemil Town. Let's go. This might be my favorite city in Kalos, I'll be honest, because the music is insanely nostalgic for me. Uh, this song right here, the Dendemil theme, it honestly throws me back and gives me St. Patrick's Day vibes. Every single time I've ever made a St. Patrick's Day video, I've always used this song. And you can go back and check all of my St. Patrick's Day videos. Like the St. Patrick's Day video that I made for uh, my freshman year of high school back in 2015. I made a review on a bunch of different Lucky Charms Flash games. Uh, I used it. All right. Uh, the Black 2, White 2 co-op episode, the St. Patrick's Day themed one. Yeah, we used this song in the intro. Uh, even my St. Patrick's Day live stream that I did in 2018, the one where we did the What's in the Box challenge. Yeah, yeah, I used this song for that as well. Literally, we, any St. Patrick's Day themed anything, I always use this song. And we can just throw that in the outro as well if you guys want to go check out those videos as well. Let me make sure to type those out, by the way. Um... Okay, cool. Sorry, I went silent for a second. Why, hello, Ryan. Who could that be? Who could that be? Oh, shit. It's... It's Sycamore and Dexio, but not Cena. I'm fucking okay with that. That's crazy. I didn't know that happened in this game. I didn't know that happened in this game. I had no clue that, that Dexio and Cena split up, and there's a point in this game where they're not together. That's crazy. That's crazy. How have you been? How is your journey going? You see, when I was younger, I visited many different regions as well. I met many kinds of Pokemon and noticed how each place has its own distinct flavors. <laughs> I don't know why I had to do the. I just felt like it was necessary. So I really came to enjoy trying new foods as I traveled. Why are you talking about this? Because of my adventures, I'm an expert on all the cafes all over Kalos. Um, Professor? Come on now, Dexio. I'm going somewhere with this. Yeah, don't underestimate fucking Professor Sycamore. Jesus Christ, Dixio. Yeah, I just called you Dixio. Bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Do you remember the Pokemon Lysander mentioned in that cafe? Not at all. I have the attention span of a squirrel. I suppose you wouldn't. Bitch! You judging me? What the fuck? Who, who do you think you are, bitch? It's important to forget things from time to time. Exactly! Lysander knows what's up. You're not Lysander. Sycamore knows what's up, okay? He knows it's fine to forget things every once in a while. I forget things all the damn time. I am the king of forgetting things. I swear to God, I have the attention span of a damn squirrel. Like, I just jump from topic to topic to topic when I commentate. I can't... I'm so just all over the place. You already know. You already know. This is part 28, all right? You guys already know. Kalos' legendary Pokemon is called Xerneas. Unless you're playing Pokemon Y, then it's called Yvetal. <laughs> According to material I've read, those who saw it was overwhelmed by its power. 
They were only able to say that this Pokemon resembled the letter X. Unless you're playing Pokemon Y, then it resembles the Pokemon Y. How crazy. Apparently, this Pokemon can control energy. Wow! It's almost as if a lot of Pokemon can do that. Fire Pokemon, when they shoot fireballs, that's also controlling energy. Aura Sphere, Lucario, that's controlling energy. It's not special. Xerneas ain't shit, all right? It gives life energy to plants and Pokemon and makes them full of vitality again. <sighs> Why is Xerneas special, though? There's other Pokemon that can do these things. I don't know. I don't know. Wherever do you think a Pokemon that amazing could be now? Well, Lysander captured him, but we don't know that yet. <laughs> when Kalos' legendary Pokemon loses all of its vitality, it goes to sleep in a secret place. Lysander's basement. I don't have a clue where it could be. Lysander's basement. It's in Geosenge Town, but it's all good. I'm just not supposed to know this yet. It's only my like third time playing Pokemon X and Y. It's fine. It's fine. All right, don't question it. Don't question it. The writings that mention it are also around a thousand years old, so they aren't much help. Just listen to me. I'm literally right in front of you. I'm saying, Geo said it's down. Lysander's basement. He's he's a bad guy. I know y'all don't believe me, but you will eventually. I just accidentally unplugged my headphones, and that is not good. <laughs> That's not good, hopefully. Okay, I just plugged it back in. I can still hear my game fine, but hopefully everything is good in the video. Oh, man, I swear. If there's any technical difficulties in this video, I'm going to be stressed the hell out. It would be absolutely astounding if you found it, Ryan. Wow, you're foreshadowing something pretty crazy, because guess what? I'm gonna find it, all right? It's a Pokemon game. We all know this is gonna happen, all right? I'm the chosen one. I'm 10 years old. I got this, all right? Maybe I'll look into the legend a little bit, but if I find something, I'll let you know. Why are they just like, you know, I'm gonna do a shit ton of research on the legendary, but I wanna make sure that you're the one who finds it. I wanna make sure that you get all the credit. What the fuck is this game? Pokemon X and Y, am I reading into this game too much? There have been so many times in this series that I'm like, what? Why? Why is this a thing? What is happening right now? What the fuck? I feel like I'm reading into this game a little bit too much. Let me know in the comments. I don't know. Aha! Oh, it would be a thrill if you found it indeed. But your journey is yours and your Pokemon's alone. Is the plural of Pokemon Pokemons? I guess you're not necessarily saying that is plural. You're saying that is an ownership of journey. So it'd be Pokemon's journey. It's not Pokemon is journey. Okay, so it's... Uh, English is fun. Fun facts. Growing up, English was my always... It was always my favorite subject. Besides band, of course. But, uh, like, actual core subject. English has always been my favorite subject growing up. Even in college, I really loved it as well. I want you to enjoy and do something whenever you'd like. You're not even gonna say bye to me, you're just gonna walk away. And oh cool, Trevor's here. Trevor's here, my favorite. My favorite character in this game. God, fuck Trevor, am I right? Um, is the professor gone already? I was hoping to have him... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, never mind. I totally thought that was a grammatical error. And I was like, oh, I'm about to roast this game. But no, 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 they got lucky. They got lucky. I was hoping to have him have a look at my Pokedex in person. I, I was expecting it to say, I was hoping to have him take a look at my Pokedex in person, but the game got lucky. The game got lucky because have a look makes sense. It's just kind of weird. I guess that's kind of how people talk, but I don't know. I don't know. The game just got lucky. The game just got lucky. Oh, well, I can still get my Pokedex evaluated at the Pokemon Center's PC. Anyway, I'm off to go look at the Pokemon in the Frost Cavern and fill up more of my Pokedex. And that's foreshadowing to say, I'm going to go to the Frost Cavern in the next episode. I love how Trevor's just like, hey, I'm going to go take a look at the Frost Cavern. And then just stand still. He just stands still. He just doesn't go. God, this game. I'm definitely reading too deep into this game. I'm definitely reading way too deep into this game. There's no way that I'm not. There's no way that I'm not reading too deep into this game. Anyways, let's go ahead. Let's just heal all my Pokemon real quick. So then that way things are looking good. We're not tagged up at all. And we're definitely going to have to go take a look at the Frost Cavern. I think that is where we're supposed to head next in this series, in this game, right? Right, I can't think of anything else that I'm supposed to do, at least. Where the hell is the Frost Cavern? God, Dendamil Town's so cool, though. I've always liked this town, even since I was a kid and I played this game for the first time. I just really, really, really liked this town. I thought, I always thought it was the coolest thing ever. Just with, like, the, the snow and the blizzards and just everything and that. Tell me that's not so damn cool, too. Oh, man, this is just a really cool game. This is just a really, really, really cool game. No pun intended, because there's snow. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Oh, man. Mamoswine Road. Where the hell is the Frost Cavern, though? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. 
I don't think that's the direction to go. I think that's the way to go in order to make it to the next city. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused. Where the hell is the Frost Cavern? Do we have a town map, actually? That might be useful. That might be useful if we have a town map. Town map! Aha! I knew I had a town map. Let's go. So here we are in the Dead Mill Town, and then Frost Cavern is up there. So yeah, no, Frost Cavern is really, really, really close to the city. So I think we are supposed to head on over there right now. Oh, goodness. I actually don't know. I don't know how to get there. Honestly, I'm thinking we should wrap up this episode right now. And then you guys in the comment section could tell me how to get to the Frost Cavern from here. Because I'd really appreciate that a lot. So anyways, let's wrap things up here. If you enjoyed today's episode, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next episode where we're going to be going to the Frost Cavern. Leave down in the comments how to get to the Frost Cavern because that helped me out a lot. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace, peace.